सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज दिस इज द टेंथ लेक्चर ऑफ यूनिट नंबर वन दैट इज वे मैकेनिक सो इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी स्टडीज दैट नॉर्मलाइजेशन एंड ऑर्थोगोनालिटी कंडीशन फॉर पार्टिकल इन वन डायमेंशनल बॉक्स ओके सो वी कंप्लीटेड टू मेन थियरीज ऑफ यूनिट नंबर वन दैट इज वेव मैकेनिक्स फर्स्ट वन इज ऑपरेटर्स एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटर ऑपरेटर्स एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटर कंटेन लेक्चर नंबर वन टू फाइव लेक्चर नंबर वन टू फाइव कंटेन ऑपरेटर्स एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ देर आर एट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटर ओके एंड सेकेंड थियर इज पार्टिकल इन वन डायमेंशनल बॉक्स पार्टिकल इन वन डायमेंशनल बॉक्स कंटेन लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स टू नाइन सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन दिस फोर लेक्चर्स आर फॉर पार्टिकल इन वन डायमेंशनल बॉक्स ओके सो वी कंप्लीटेड टू मेन थियरीज of unit number 1 okay so the third theory of wave mechanics is particle in three dimension box particle in three dimensional box ओके सो दिस इज द थर्ड थियरी ऑफ यूनिट नंबर वन सो इन दिस केस फर्स्ट आई ड्रो थ्री डायमेंशनल बॉक्स दिस इज एक एक्स This is x-axis. This is a z-axis, and this one is a y-axis. Okay. Suppose any microscopic particle which is traveling inside the three-dimensional box. Here, this is the x-axis. This is y, and this one is a z. Okay. Suppose the edge length of length of edge is equal to a, height is also a, and width is also width or breadth is also a. Okay. So this is a three-dimensional box like cube. Here L, B, H, both are. Uh, All are equal. Okay. So suppose we assume that uh, inside the box potential energy capital V is equal to zero, and outside the box potential energy capital V is equal to infinite. Inside the box potential energy is equal to zero, and outside the box potential energy is uh, infinite. Okay. So consider a microscopic particle. consider a microscopic particle electron electron with mass small m moving in moving in three dimensional box having edges that is capital a okay so first consider a microscopic particle like electron which is traveling along to x axis as well as y axis as well as z axis in three dimensional box okay so first hamiltonian for three dimensional box first one i write hamiltonian operator hamiltonian for three dimensional box hamiltonian is denoted by capital h h cap is equal to now what is the equation of hamiltonian operator hamiltonian operator is equal to sum of two types of energy 
काइनेटिक एनर्जी प्लस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ओके सो फर्स्ट वन इज माइनस ए स्क्वेर अपॉन एट पाइ स्क्वेर एम इन टू हियर इन थ्री डायमेंशन ऑल थ्री एक्सिस आर कंसिडर इट मीन्स एक्स एक्सिस एज वेल एज वाई एक्सिस एज वेल एज जेड एक्सिस ओके सो थ्री वेरिएबल्स एक्स वाई एंड जेड थ्री वेरिएबल्स आर टेकन इन दिस केस इट मीन्स डेल स्क्वेर अपॉन डेल ए स्क्वेर प्लस डेल स्क्वेर अपॉन डेल वाई स्क्वेर प्लस डेल स्क्वेर अपॉन डेल जेड स्क्वेर प्लस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी देट इज कैपिटल वी ओके सो इन दिस केस वी एज्यूम देट पोटेंशियल एनर्जी कैपिटल वी इज इक्वल टू जीरो इन साइड दी बॉक्स सो आई विल पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ वी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस टर्म इज निग्लेक्ट इन दिस केस ओके सो द वैल्यू ऑफ हेमिल्टोन एपरेटर एच के इज इक्वल टू माइनस एच स्क्वेर अपॉन एट पाइव स्क्वेर एम डेल स्क्वेर डेल एस स्क्वेर प्लस डेल स्क्वेर डेल वाई स्क्वेर प्लस डेल स्क्वेर डेल जेड स्क्वेर ओके दिस इज द लाप्लास एन ऑपरेटर डेल स्क्वेर एंड दिस इज द हेमिल्टोनियन दिस इज दिस टर्म इंडिकेट्स द वैल्यू ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी एंड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इन साइड द बॉक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके सो नेक्स्ट वन इज स्रोडिंजर इक्वेशन इन दिस केस वॉट इज द स्रोडिंजर इक्वेशन फॉर पार्टिकल इन थ्री डायमेंशनल बॉक्स नाउ सेकेंड वन इज Schrodinger equation. For Schrodinger equation, I apply Hamiltonian operator on function that is psi. H psi is equal to e psi. Okay. So put the value of h. H is a Hamiltonian operator. The value of Hamiltonian operator is a minus h square upon eight pi square m into del square upon del s square plus del square upon del y square plus del square upon del z square here the value of h is equal to del uh, minus h square upon 8y square m or del square upon del s square plus del square upon del y square plus del square upon del z square h into psi into psi is equal to e into psi Okay, so this term minus a square upon eight pi square is uh, multiplication with uh, this Laplacian operator. Okay, so if this term goes uh, this side, then it will become inverse. Okay, therefore, del square upon uh, psi is multiplied in this bracket. It means del square psi upon del x square. Plus del square sine upon del y square. Plus del square sine upon del z square is equal to here. This term is multiplication with this. So this term it goes on the other side. Then it will become inverse. It is minus eight pi square m. Upon e square into e into psi. Okay. So this term is minus in right hand side. If this term goes into left hand side, then it will become plus. Okay. So therefore, del square psi upon del x square plus del square psi upon del y square plus del square psi upon del z square. This term will become plus. So plus 8 pi square m upon a square a into psi is equal to zero. A into psi is equal to zero. This is the equation number one. Okay. So this equation is the equation of Schrodinger equation for particle in Or three-dimensional box. First write Hamiltonian, then apply Hamiltonian on function. Okay. So this is the equation of Schrodinger equation for particle in three-dimensional box. This equation indicates Schrodinger equation for particle in three-dimensional box. Here. 
for particle in three dimensional box there are three coordinate are consider first one is x second one is y and third one is uh, z so psi psi with respect to x y and z psi with respect to x y and z okay so what is the value of psi x y z equation number one what is the value of psi x y z here psi is not only one function here psi is not only one function it means it is not applied only 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 one coordinate but here in this case there are three coordinates first x second one y and third one is z okay so psi is a multiplication of three different uh, function okay suppose i assume the function with respect to f is this, it is fx the function with respect to y that is fy and the function with respect to z it is fz so the value of psi x y z will become fx into fy into fz okay here psi is not only one function for three dimension there are three variables okay so the size of product of three different wave function okay so this is the equation number two. okay psi x y z is equal to f x into f y into f z okay and same energy here also three coordinate so energy total energy is equal to sum of three types of energy e x plus e y plus e z e x means energy with respect to x variable e y means energy with respect to y variable and e z means energy with respect to z variable this is the equation number three okay so what is the value of del square upon del x square what is the value of del square psi upon del x square the value of del square psi upon del x square is equal to del square upon del x square and what is the value of psi psi x y z is equal to f x f y and f z so i put the value of psi that is f x into f y into f z okay so here variable is x variable is x so these two terms f y and f z will become constant because for only one direction it means for only one axis axis is the variable y and z are keep constant okay so this variable it goes outside of the differentiation is equal to f y into f z into del square f x upon del x square del square f x upon del x square okay and similarly del square psi upon del y square is equal to del square psi upon del y square is equal to here f x and f z are constant okay so f x into f z f x into f z and del square f y upon del y square del square f y upon del y square because of for y coordinate x and z are kept constant okay similarly the value of del square psi upon del z square is equal to del z square psi upon del z square is equal to here for z coordinate uh, for z coordinate x and y both are keeping constant so it will goes outside uh, out of the uh, differentiation this is the sign of differentiation it is a one type of mathematical calculation okay so for z coordinate fx into fy into del square fz divided by del z square okay so this is the equation number okay so now i put the value of equation number 2 equation number 3 and equation number 4 in equation number 1 the value of del square upon del, del square psi upon del x square is equal to fy into fz 
into del square fx upon del x square. The value of del square psi upon del y square is equal to fy into fz into del square fy upon del y square. And the value of del square psi upon del z square is equal to fx into fy into del square fz upon or del z square. And the value of E indicates total energy. Total energy it means here the variable is 3 x, y and z. So total energy with respect to all three variable is equal to E x plus E y plus E z and the wave function psi is product of three different wave function that is f, fx, fy and fz. Okay. So now I put the value of equation number 2 it means in place of psi I write uh, fx into fy into fz and in, in place of e I write the value ex plus ey plus ez and in place of del square psi upon del x square del square psi upon del y square del square psi upon del z square I write these three terms okay so put the value of equation 2 3 and 4 in equation number 1. equation number okay so therefore a del square psi upon del x square is equal to fy fz into del square fx upon del x square first term will become fy into fz into del square fx upon del x square second term will become fx into fz del square fy upon del y square and third term will become third fx into fy fx into fy del square fz upon del z square plus 8 pi square m upon a square plus 8 pi square m upon a square and the value of e is equal to ex plus ey plus ez and the value of e is equal to ex plus ey plus ez okay and the value of psi is equal to fx into fy into fz fx into fy into fz is equal to zero okay so this equation is a equation for different three variables here variable is x y and z now i want to separate these three variables because this equation is very long okay so for separation of variable i don't need this term first one is in last one two three for in first step 8 by square m and this these terms consider all the variables fx fy and fz okay so this is the equation number 5. For separate the variable, we divide equation number 5 with a square upon 8 pi square m into fx fy fz into fx f y okay so divide equation number 5 with a square a pi square f x f y into f z okay so here first term f y into f z into del square f x divided by del x square now divide all these terms with a square upon 8 pi square into fx into fy into fz okay del x square divided by a square into 8 pi square m into fx into fy into fz fx fy and fz okay so this 8 pi square m will goes into nominate nominator it means 8 pi square m okay so if i if i cancel fz fz cancel 
so remaining term is 8 pi square m is equal to 8 pi square m upon a square 8 pi square m upon f square into 1 upon x fx into a del square fx upon del x square into del square fx into del x square ok so this is the simple first step ok so similarly we will apply this operation directly ok it, the remaining term is 8 pi square m upon x square into 1 upon fx into del square fx upon del x square ok so here fx into fz it means fx into fz therefore fx and fz both are can cancel so remaining term is fy and here fx into fy it means fx and fy both are cancel the remaining term is fz it means 1 upon fz okay in this case fx fy fz all three functions are cancel out because in denominator fx fy and fz are present okay so we directly divide equation number 5 with minus a square 8 pi square into fx into fy into fz okay so therefore Eight pi square m upon h square into one of one f x into del square f x upon del x square plus eight pi square m a square into one upon f y into del square fy into del y square del y square plus plus here 8 pi square m fx and fy both are cancel out therefore remaining term is fz ok so here 8 pi square m upon h square 1 into fz into a del square fz upon del z square del square fz upon del z square plus here in this case this 8 pi square and this 8 pi minus uh, sorry s pi a square upon 8 pi square both are cancel out and fx fy fz all these function are cancel out so remaining term is ex plus ey plus ez plus ex plus ey plus ez is equal to 0 this is the equation number 6 so in equation number 6 there are three coordinates first fx fy and fz ok so if two coordinates are become constant at that time equation 6 will becomes only one variable if two coordinates become constant at that time equation number 6 becomes only one variable ok so we separate all these three variables in equation number 6 so first term contain only x variable and here ex second term contain only a y variable and third one contain only z variable ok so we separate out all these three variables from equation number 6 it means first 8 pi square m upon a square into 1 upon fx 
इंटू और डेल स्क्वेर एफ वन डेल स्क्वेर एफ एक्स अपॉन डेल एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस हियर इन टोटल एनर्जी द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वेरिएबल इज ई एक्स प्लस ई एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट वेरिएबल सेपरेट आउट इन इक्वेशन नंबर सिक्स नाउ सेकेंड वेरिएबल दैट इज वाई इट मीन्स एट पाई स्क्वेर एम प्लस ए स्क्वेर इंटू वन अपॉन एफ वाई इंटू डेल स्क्वेर एफ वाई डिवाइड बाई डेल वाई स्क्वेर प्लस ई वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड थर्ड वेरिएबल इज एफ जेड ओके सो दिस एट पाई स्क्वेर एम वन अपॉन एफ जेड डेल स्क्वेर एफ जेड अपॉन डेल एस स्क्वेर डेल जेड स्क्वेर प्लस ई जेड ओके फिर फोर एट पाई स्क्वेर एम अपॉन एस स्क्वेर वन इंटू एफ जेड इंटू डेल स्क्वेर एफ जेड अपॉन डेल जेड स्क्वेर प्लस ई जेड इक्वल टू जीरो ओके सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन नंबर सेवन ओके ना आई सिंप्लीफाई इक्वेशन नंबर सेवन ना सिंप्लीफाई इक्वेशन नंबर सेवन ओके सो I simplify only this uh, x variable term. Okay, then after we write similarly. Okay, so first, eight by square m upon s square one upon f x or uh, del square f x upon del s square plus e s is equal to zero. So first, this e s uh, is goes to right hand side. Then it will becomes minus. It means eight by square m upon s square into one upon f x. Into del square f x upon del x square is equal to a minus e x. Okay, so here in this case, this uh, whole terms are in multiply with del square f x upon del x square. If these terms are goes into right hand side, and at that time this uh, this will becomes inverse. Okay, so therefore. Del square f x upon del s square is equal to minus a square upon eight pi square n. A square upon eight pi square m minus a square upon eight pi square m into e x into f x is a denominator, so it will goes nominator into f x into e x. Okay. So here, this word, uh, this word term is a minus. If this term uh, is goes into left hand side, then it will become plus. Therefore, del square f x upon del x square plus a square upon eight pi square m a square upon eight pi square m into f x into e x is equal to zero. Okay. so this is the first simplification of equation uh, of equation x variable similarly for y variable here fy and dy square and here fy into ey okay so similarly i will write first for x variable simplify equation is del square fx upon del x square plus a square upon 8 by square m into fx into ex okay so first x variable del square fx upon del x square plus a square upon 8 by square m into fx into ex is equal to 0 okay so for similarly for y variable here del square fy upon del y square plus a square upon 8 by square m A square upon eight pi square m into f y into e y f y into e y is equal to zero. Okay. Similarly, for z variable, this will this term will become del square f z upon del z square plus a square upon eight pi square m. Into f z into e z 
एफ जेड इंटू ई जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके सो दिस इज द सिंप्लीफिकेशन ऑफ इक्वेशन नंबर सेवन This equation indicates simplification of equation number seven, and this equation is number eight. Okay, what is the equation of uh, wave function for particle in one-dimensional box? That is, sine is equal to a sine n pi upon a into x. Okay, so this equation is derived from a previous video. That is, the lecture number uh, seven. Okay, lecture number seven contains wave function for particle in one-dimensional box, and The second one is normalize. What is the value of a in normalized wave function? So this is the general wave function for particle in one-dimensional box. So in case of normalization, the value of a is equal to under root two upon a sine n pi upon a into x. Okay, so this is a simple wave function for particle in one-dimensional box, and this is the normalized wave function for particle in one dimensional box okay so now i write normalized wave function in this case it means normalization wave function for equation number 8 okay so here the value of psi is equal to the value of psi is equal to first psi is a product of three wave function so the value of normalization wave function of equation 8 is First one is for f x. First one is f x. F x is equal to here in this case. First under root two upon a into sine. Here variable r three x variable as well as y variable as well as uh, z z variable. So I write. In x, in y, in in z for different three variable because for one dimensional box only variable is one, but in three dimensional box there are three variable. So for separate the variable, I put the value of n n x in place of n. Okay, so sine n x into pi upon a into this is the variable x. Okay. So similarly, the value of f y is equal to under root two upon a sine n y into pi upon a into variable is y. Okay, and similarly for f z under root two upon a sine n z into pi upon a into z. Okay. So this is the equation number. This is equation number nine. Okay. So equation nine is normalized wave function for three separate variables. That is f x, f y, and f z. Okay. So wave wave function for particle in three dimensional box. Particle in three-dimensional box. So the wave function for particle in three-dimensional box sine is equal to sine x into y into x z is equal to f x into f y into f z. This is the equation number two in this theory. Okay. So I put the value of f x, f y, and f z. Okay. So Therefore, sine is equal to sine x y z is equal to what is the value of f x under root two a sine under root two a sine n x into pi upon a n x into pi upon a into x into what is the value of f y under root two upon a Sine n y into pi, sine n y into pi upon a into y. And what is the value of f z? F z equal to under root two a sine n z into of pi 
डिवाइड बाय ए इंटू जेड ओके सो इज इक्वल टू साइंस इक्वल टू नाउ अंडर रूट टू इंटू अंडर रूट टू इंटू अंडर रूट टू इट मीन्स अंडर रूट एट अंडर रूट एट इन ए इंटू ए इंटू ए इट मीन्स ए टू दी पावर थ्री इंटू साइन एन एक्स इंटू पाई अपन ए इंटू एक्स साइन एन वाई इंटू पाई अपन ए साइन एन वाई इंटू पाई अपन ए इंटू वाई इंटू साइन एन जेड इंटू पाई अपन ए साइन एन जेड इंटू पाई अपन ए एन जेड इंटू पाई अपन ए इंटू जेड ओके सो दिस इज द वेव फंक्शन फॉर पार्टिकल इन थ्री डायमेंशनल बॉक्स ओके सो दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर टेन सो इक्वेशन टेन इज नॉर्मलाइज वेव फंक्शन फॉर पार्टिकल इन थ्री डायमेंशनल बॉक्स इक्वेशन नंबर टेन इज नॉर्मलाइज्ड वेव फंक्शन फॉर पार्टिकल इन थ्री डायमेंशनल बॉक्स फॉर पार्टिकल इन थ्री डायमेंशनल बॉक्स ओके सो दिस इज द नॉर्मलाइज वेव फंक्शन फॉर पार्टिकल इन थ्री डी नाउ energy equation energy equation for particle in 3d particle in three dimensional box now energy equation for particle in three dimensional box so first what is the value of e e is equal to ex plus ey Plus is it in this case because our particle is traveling along to x axis as well as y axis as well as z axis. So all the three coordinates are taken in this condition. Okay. So first, what is the equation of energy? Equation of energy e is equal to n square upon h square upon a m square. n square into a square upon 8m square okay so this equation is derived in our previous lecture okay so e is equal to n square a square upon 8m square okay so i put the value of ex ex means here the value of n nx is in place of simple n because three different n indicates a uh, three different direction uh, it means three different axes okay so first nx square into a square upon 8m square plus for ey the value is ny square a square upon 8m square plus for ez the value is nz is square upon 8m square nz square a square upon 8m square okay so we common out a square upon 8m square in all three terms okay a square upon 8m square so remaining term will become nx square plus ny square plus nz square okay so the energy equation for particle in three dimensional box is e is equal to a square upon 8m square into bracket nx square plus ny square and nz square so this is the equation number 11 so equation 11 is uh, energy equation for particle in three dimensional box okay so what do you mean by zero point energy what is the meaning of zero point energy zero point energy means lowest value of energy lowest value of energy it means for zero point for zero point energy 
the value of n x n y n n z is equal to one. N x n y n n z is equal to always one. Okay. So I put the value of n x n y n n z in equation number eleven. So e zero point e zero point is equal to a square upon eight m square. Into if I put the value of n x is equal to one, therefore one square n y is also one. One square plus one square. There is one plus one in one. One plus one one. It means three. So is equal to three s square upon eight m square. Okay. So this equation is zero point energy. Three s square upon eight m square is zero point energy for particle. A three-dimensional box. Okay. So, what do you mean by zero-point energy? The lowest value of kinetic energy in three-dimensional box. So, for zero-point energy, we always take the value of n is equal to one. Okay. Degeneracy for particle in three-dimensional box. What is the next? Degeneracy. For particle in three-dimensional box. Okay. So first of all, what is the meaning of degeneracy? An energy state. An energy state having more than one, more than one, more than one wave function, more than one wave function. With same energy, with same energy, is called degenerate state. Is called degenerate state. Degenerate state. And this property is known as degeneracy. And This property is no one is degeneracy. Okay. So, what do we mean by degeneracy? An energy state having more than one of more than one wave function with. A uh, same energy is called degenerate state, and this pheno uh, property or phenomenon is known as degeneracy. Okay, so in this case, what is the normalized wave function for particle in 3D? Say x, y, z. So now I put the value of x, y, z. Different value of x, y, z. Okay. So first, say one to one is equal to say one to one. It means Here, the value of x is equal to one. The value of y is equal to two, and the value of z is equal to one. Okay, so sine one to one is equal to under root eight upon a cube. Under root eight upon a cube in sine. In place of n x, I put the value that is a uh, n one. It means one. E to pi upon a into x. Okay. Into sine. So in place of n y, the value is two. Two pi upon a into y and sine in place of n z, that is one. Sine one into pi sine one into pi upon a into z. Okay. So this is the first wave function. Okay, so if I put another value, it means sine two one one. 
First, I have 2, 1, 1. The value of nx is equal to 2. ny is equal to 1. And nz is equal to 1. So, for that, under root a upon a cube into sine. Here, the value of nx is equal to 2. It means 2 pi x upon a into sine. The value of ny is equal to 1. It means 1 into pi upon a into y and the value of nz is equal to 1. So, sine 1 into pi upon a into z. Okay. And now, sine 1, 1, 2. 1, 1, 2 means the value of nx is equal to 1. Value of ny is equal to 1. And value of nz equal to 2. In equation number 8, here I put the value of nx is equal to 1 ny is equal to 1 and nz is equal to 2 okay so final equation will become under root 8 upon a cube into sine 1 into pi upon a into x sine 1 into pi into y upon a and sine 2 into pi upon a into z okay so these three Wave function have similar energy. Okay, so what is the equation of energy for particle in three dimensional ball? E is equal to a square upon a m square n x square plus n y square plus n z square. Okay, so I if I put the value of n x uh, one two one or two one one or one one two, it means the value here in this case one. It means one square plus 2, 2 square plus 1 square, it means 1 square 1, 2 square 4, 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 square, okay. So, the value of 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4 plus 1 square is 1, it means the value of e is equal to 6 a square upon 8 m square, the value of e is equal to uh, 6 a square upon 8 m square. Okay, so if I put the value of sine 2 1 1, it means 2 square plus 1 square plus 1 square is also will become 6 a square upon 8 m square. Okay, so if I put the value of sine 1 1 2, it means nx is equal to 1, ny is equal to 1, and nz is equal to 2. At that time, 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square, so it will become 6 a square upon 8 m square. It means all these three uh, wave function have similar value of energy. Similar value of energy that is 6 s square upon 8 m s square. Okay. So, what do you mean by degeneracy? An energy state having more than wave function. Okay. So, energy state is 6 s square upon 8 m s square. It have three different wave functions. First one is psi 1 2 1, second one psi 2 1 1, third one is psi 1 1 2. Okay. So, an energy state having more than one wave function with same value of energy with same value of energy is called degenerate state and this property is known as degeneracy. Okay. So, here psi 1, uh, here 1 to 1, second one is 2 1 1. And third one is 1, 1, 2. 1, 1, 2. Third one is 1, 1, 2. Is three different degenerate state. Is three different degenerate state. Okay. So, what do you mean by degenerate state? Degenerate state means three different wave function with a similar value of energy is called degenerate state and this property or this phenomenon is called degeneracy okay so for this three degenerate state i drew the diagram of degeneracy so this is the ground state it means the value of nx ny and nz is equal to zero that means energy is equal to zero okay so this is the first energy level Suppose here the value of nx, ny, and z is equal to 111. At that time, if 
I put the value of 1, 1, 1. It means 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square is equal to 3 a square upon 8 ml square. So the energy will become 3 a square upon 8 ml square. Okay. So now second energy level that is uh, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1 and 1, 1, 2. At that time, the value of energy will become 6 a square upon 8 m a square because the value of 2 square is 4 plus 1 plus 1. It means here the value of energy in 3 different quantum number 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1 and 1, 1, 2. The energy will become 6 a square upon 8 m a square. Okay. So if I put another energy level that is that is 2 1 1 or 2 2 1 2 1 2 and 1 2 2 and 1 at that time if you put the value of nx is equal to 2 ny is equal to 2 and nz is equal to 1 at that time 2 square plus 2 square plus 1 it means 4 plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 9 s square upon 8 ml square okay so in this case the value of energy will become 9 s square upon 8 ml square okay so for 1 1 1 nx is equal to 1 ny is equal to 1 and nz is equal to 1 it is the minimum value of energy it is the minimum value of energy it means it is called this is for zero point energy this is a zero point energy the minimum value of kinetic energy for three dimensional box is called a zero point energy okay so here in this case the value of nx is equal to one ny is equal to one and nz is equal to one okay so it will create only one wave function it will create only one wave function it means you cannot interchange these two uh, variables in this in this case because the value of all three variables are same it means it is a degenerate it is a degenerate so first one is what is the degenerate function energy is state having more than one wave function with same value of degenerate state okay it means here in this case the value of nx ny and nz all are equal it means it is a non degenerate it is a no de not degenerate state because you cannot create another wave function you cannot create another wave function because the value of nx, ny and nz all are equal. Okay. So in this case for energy 6s square upon 8m square there are three different quantum number. First one is 211, second one is 121 and third one is 112. It means it is a degenerate state. It is a degenerate. It means if uh, three wave function have similar value of energy, three different quantum numbers, a uh, set of quantum number have three different a uh, set of quantum number have similar energy that is 6 L square upon 8 M square. Okay. So in this case, the value of 9 L square upon 8 M square and these three quantum numbers are different. It means it is also degenerate. It is also degenerate state okay so for three dimension books this is the definition of degeneracy and this is the basic simple application of explanation of degeneracy degeneracy means different quantum numbers different set of quantum number have similar energy but it have different wave function okay For particle in rectangular box. Okay, so rectangular box is also a three-dimensional box. Here, 
in rectangular box in rectangular box all edges are not same it means this is x this one is y this is uh, x axis this is y and this is z okay so for rectangular box all edges are not same it means this is the length this small a this is the height it is a small b and this is the width that is small c like match box okay match box is a rectangular shape it means height width and length all are not equal so it is also three dimensional box so in this case so in rectangular box what is the value of wave function so for a rectangular box normalized wave function is normalized wave function so for rectangular box all edges all lengths are not same it means in place of a cube we can write the value a into b into c it means for normalized wave function a rectangular box sin x y z is equal to under root a so for cube cube means length height and width all are equal a a a so it will become a cube but in this case for rectangular box height width and length are not equal it means in place of a cube we can write a into b into c okay into sin nx pi upon a into x okay here a is the length for x direction b is length for y direction it means sin ny pi into b into y into sin nz into pi upon for z z direction that is small c it means c into z okay so this equation indicates normalized wave function for particle in a rectangular box for rectangular box length height and uh, width all are not equal it means in place of a cube we can write a into b into c because of for cube the length is also a height is also a and width is also a. it means a into a into a a cube for a uh, particle in cube it means cube is also three dimensional and rectangular is also a three dimensional box okay so the wave function of normalized uh, wave function for rectangular box will become sin x y z is equal to under root 8 upon a into b into c here small a with respect to x it means a into uh, sin n x pi a into x b is with respect to y so here n y upon b in z uh, c is with with respect to z so n z upon c okay so next energy equation next energy equation for particle in rectangular box what is the value of energy for particle in uh, rectangular box that is e is equal to first one is what is the energy equation for cube it means a square upon 8m square nx square plus ny square plus nz square this is energy equation for particle in cube it means all edges are same but in this case the value of energy e1 plus e2 plus e3 here we can see that all edges are not same it means nx square h square upon 8m square plus for e2 it means for y direction and y square a square upon 8 m here for y direction 
लेंथ इज स्मॉल बी इट मीन्स बी स्क्वेर प्लस फॉर जेड डायरेक्शन द लेंथ इज स्मॉल सी इट मीन्स एन जेड स्क्वेर ए स्क्वेर अपॉन एट एम सी स्क्वेर ओके सो वी कॉमन आउट ओनली ए स्क्वेर अपॉन एट एम सो वी कॉमन आउट ओनली ए स्क्वेर अपॉन एट एम इट मीन्स ई इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वेर अपॉन एट एम इंटू ब्रेकेट एन एक्स स्क्वेर अपॉन ए स्क्वेर एन एक्स स्क्वेर अपॉन ए स्क्वेर प्लस एन वाई स्क्वेर अपॉन बी स्क्वेर प्लस एन जे स्क्वेर अपॉन सी स्क्वेर ओके तो दिस इज द एनर्जी इक्वेशन फॉर पार्टिकल एंड रेक्टेंगुलर बॉक्स ओके सो वट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन क्यूब एंड रेक्टेंगुलर फॉर क्यूब फॉर क्यूबिक बॉक्स तो ऑल एज इज इट मीन्स लेंथ is equal to small a width is also small a and height is also small a it means a length height and width all are equal for cubic box but for rectangular box for rectangular box all lengths height and width are not equal so we consider length is equal to a width is equal to the small c and height is equal to b okay so this is the basic difference between cubic box and rectangular box okay so this is the energy equation for rectangular box if cubic box then the value of a b and c both are common it means a square a square a square so a square is also common so for our cubic box energy equation is equal to a square upon a is equal to a square upon 8a here a a a because for cubic box height width and length both are, uh, all are the equals okay so for cubic box 8m into n square nx square plus ny square plus n zero square this is the energy equation for cubic box but for rectangular box all length width and height or are not same at that time we will consider different value of a b and c okay so thank you for watching this video